smaller intimate events for the very reason that I like to connect with people. Mm -hmm. I like I like the op the opportunity to spend time with people to put my phone in my pocket, turn the thing off, turn the ringer off, and be present, be authentic, and just be there with people and talk to them and and forget about crypto and just talk about how did you end up in crypto, what did you do before, and you know when did you move to Singapore or how long you've lived in here or there. And actually, that's great because it's same you know when there's when there's a room of eighty people or a hundred people or even two hundred people. Mm -hmm. You get to talk to several people several times because people mingle around and you end up in different discussions with different people. And then you can go and have dinner with a group of people from that that spin out and go, hey, let's go for a dinner. Let's go for a drink. And and I like that kind of close, intimate environment. But of course, those events are harder to find. There's not as many of them around. Um, right. As you know, I spent a lot of time networking to find them just so I have the opportunity. And this particular event said, you know, I've been speaking to them for a while. And they said, why don't you come out? I said, all right, cool. So I did. Perfect. And it was great yeah. fun. It was really enjoyable. And I really, I had fun. And I, and because of just some other connections I have in the, in the industry, uh, some of the, some of the guys I know from an exchange over in New York called Bitmart mm -hmm. introduced me to a consultancy in crypto in Singapore, all Chinese people connecting me to mm -hmm. each other. And I went there and had a two hour meeting with these people from Jenga. So a little shout out to Iris and to Poppy, really lovely ladies, really nice ladies running a yeah. business and it was really nice meeting and connecting with other people just in general in crypto as a result. So, you know, and a thank you to Kaiman from Bitmart for setting that up. So, you know, <laughs> we're just shouting out to everyone today. <laughs> we are. I know. Look at you meeting lots of people. Shout and out city. Yeah. It was good to get away from the mic and actually be out you know, in the public talking to people. Yeah. Yeah. I bet. So I, it sounds like you had a fantastic time there. Are there any other kind of like takeaways or, or things I forgot to ask? Well, I mean, I think the thing, I, I, the takeaway for me is, uh, well, here's the interesting takeaway for me with presentations okay. and going out and presenting, you know, projects. And we've mm -hmm. talked about this before, but you know, preparedness is one thing, but don't go showing up without any product. Oh, because there were a yeah. lot of people still doing this whole, I don't have an MVP, a minimum viable product. I don't mm -hmm. have a prototype. I don't have a proof of concept. I just have an idea and a presentation. Sure. And the distinction was when you looked at BitCurate and Moby, they had products, mm -hmm. working products. They worked, they were real. They, they have use cases for their purpose and other projects. I can't say the same. And that was really disappointing for me was being on a stage and you know, the variety of presentation around, do you need blockchain or not? You know, why did they get into this in the first place? Why are they transforming their business to this? And then where's your product? And yeah, Show, show me your token model. And just there were a range of things that just didn't make sense. But the one thing that really came across to me strongly was if you want to go out and mingle and meet people, don't do it until you have something to show. Don't tell, hmm. show, because people sure. want to see real product. And a lot of people didn't have that. And so who do you think the, the crowd is going to spend their time talking to are the ones where they can see it, touch it, play with it, try it out, ask to do a demo, ask if they can try using it at home and give feedback because you've engaged people and that whole engagement of it is so important. So that was a massive takeaway for me was realizing if you're going to go out to an event like this, have a product to show. Yeah. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. Awesome. So, yeah. So how was Great. your week? So, and I'm sorry for my silence last week. So how was your week, Yuri? Just anything <laughs> crypto a happened for you? Mm. Uh, no, um, no, unfortunately it was a, it was a busy week in other areas, but not, not in the crypto space for on, on. And you didn't try spending any Bitcoin while I was away. No, not so much. I don't think anyone wants to take it right now. Everyone's still worried about, is it going to crash? What's going to happen with it? I get asked a few of those kind of questions, Yeah. but nothing to, it was kind of a, a quiet week on my side. Which well, is, I think we're really skirting nice around the whole Bitcoin fork and the Bitcoin SV, Bitcoin ABC. We are discussion because that's yeah that's kind of a discussion for another day we'll probably have a whole hash discussion hash war discussion are, yeah soon. exactly cool because it's been dominating the news a lot and yeah you're like oh, just, we'll, we'll let it we'll let it hash itself out <sighs> tokenized expressions eh oh yes well thank you for for all the questions yuri i i, I actually like when you ask me tons of questions it's it's kind of cool because then i i feel like i I have a purpose. <laughs> oh, well, I'm, I'm uh, happy to give you purpose. Uh, you, 
Thanks everybody for listening in today to the coin chat. You can always follow us on t.me forward slash the coin chat, where we are always there on telegram to answer questions and engage and help us find scams or great projects or things to talk about. You're always, we're always there. And of course you can follow us on YouTube, mm -hmm. Spotify, Apple, and Alexa, where you can listen to us by telling Alexa to give us a daily update. Thanks everybody for listening and watching to the moon because we know we were going to be back on the moon someday soon. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today on The Coin Chat. Join us on Telegram on t.me forward slash The Coin Chat, where we discuss a range of topics on cryptocurrency. And visit us on patreon.com forward slash The Coin Chat for show notes, outtakes, and previews of additional content. Or follow us on our website, which is www.thecoinchat.net. And remember to like and subscribe to us on your way out. To the moon, until next time.